everyone, Jason here from RV Miles. A couple months ago, I did a video on this guy, which is the Hughes Power Watch Dog Surge Protector with EPO, which is an electric shutoff for when there's high or, vol or uh, low voltage or other electrical problems. We absolutely love this thing. This is really going to protect your rig from any sort of issues with surges or voltage changes. Voltage changes are one of those things that are really common, especially as it gets warmer in the summer and everybody in the park is using their air conditioner at the same time. That voltage in the park will drop and voltage that is low can be really dangerous for all of the equipment in your rig. Your refrigerator, your electronics, anything that's got a motor in it particularly, if there is a voltage drop, that is going to cause that product to run less efficiently and could cause it to burn up. So these are great to shut off in a situation like that. But what if you're at a campground where your voltage is low and uh, this thing shuts off and then you have no power and you're gonna be there for a week or two or whatever it is, you need power. There is an option and Hughes makes it. It's this guy right here. <laughs> it's a little heavy it's not that heavy but it's a little heavy this is the hughes auto former or as they're now calling it the voltage booster uh this is the 30 amp model the 50 amp model is considerably heavier uh and this does a lot of the same stuff that the watchdog does it's still going to test the circuit to make sure that it's got the proper uh, the, that it's got the proper voltage, that it's got the proper uh, wiring, that the wiring's not backwards or anything like that. It's going to protect from power surges, from lightning and all that sort of stuff. It doesn't have the app connectivity that the other one has, which I really love, uh, but this is going to boost your voltage if your voltage is low. Safe voltage is usually going to be around 110 to 126 volts really you want at least 114 volts that's sort of like the normal minimum is 114 volts right now in our rv at this campground we're getting exactly 114 volts uh, which is okay but we can plug this guy in and it's gonna boost it for us a little bit so i'm gonna go ahead and do that So why wouldn't you always want something like the auto former over the surge protector? One is the weight. Two is the app connectivity, which I really like. Uh, three is the price. The auto former or the voltage booster is about $450 for the 30 amp version. And it's about $750 for the 50 amp version. And they do have a kit that you can install them permanently on your rig if you want, instead of carrying it around portably. The, the Watchdog Surge Protector is only about 250 bucks. So there's a big cost consideration there. We have been at several campgrounds where we've needed voltage boosting, where it's been down to 96 volts, which you should absolutely not plug into. 108 volts is really the bare minimum that you should be plugging into. Anything below 108 volts, don't do it. Um, I wanna say here though, a little bit about how these things work because you might see people saying online that auto formers are actually really bad for the campground and they sort of take power from everybody else, make everybody else's voltage worse to improve yours. None of that's true. The way Hughes voltage boosters work, I don't want to go into all the technical details, but you can read them on their website, is basically just balancing the difference between amperage and voltage. It does not have an effect on the rest of the campground's power, other than the fact that 
it makes you use a little bit less power. So it's really better for the campground system that you have one on. Um, so to make that decision whether or not to use an auto form or to spend that money or not, you ha really have to decide uh, how worth it is it for you to not be plugged in. I'm very grateful that Hughes sent us this product to test out and review. For us, we're okay with being without power for a few days if we had to. Uh, that's really not a big deal. If you want to be plugged in all the time, you might want to consider getting one, especially if you're going to be in a monthly campground where you're often having problems like this. That's definitely going to solve your, your problem. So let's take a look now that we've plugged the autoformer in to our power and see what the voltage has been boosted to. So as you see, it boosted it to 118 volts or about four volts up, which is just right. 120 volts is sort of perfect power. There are two coils inside the auto former and the, the smaller one boosts it a little bit when you're just a little bit low and the bigger one boosts it more when you're quite a bit low. So uh, I'm very happy with the product. It works very well. Uh, it is expensive. It does come with a lock that you can lock it to the power pole so you don't have to worry about somebody stealing with stealing it. But uh, you're gonna have to make the decision on your own whether that price is worth it for you or not. I personally think if you're somebody that camps a heck of a lot, if you camp most of the year, if you're a full-timer, it's absolutely worth it. Make sure to also go check out our other video on the Hughes Power Watchdog because I think you'll think that's an excellent device as well. And all of our other videos and reviews of products on rvmiles.com or right here on our YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get all kinds of updates from RV Miles. And check us out over on the RV Miles podcast available wherever you listen to podcasts.